the betting brand for soccer fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly. Well, the Socceroos stunned the football world with wins over Tunisia and Denmark before pushing Messi's Argentina all the way to the wire. Robbie, how does Australian football capitalise on this? Well, look, that's a big question. And look, I hope that this coming together, what Graham Arnold has done in Qatar is brought a team of individuals who on paper are not playing at big clubs, but it proves that sometimes a great team can beat a team of individuals. And I think that's what Arnie's done. And he's blocked out the media. You know, we saw what he did on the ground in Qatar. But the bigger question in a country where football is divided, that A-League is separated from the FA, state federations run their own race. And of course, uh, the game itself, to watch it, you have to go to four different kind of channels. But look, if we look at the performances and the individuals all perform so well, but for you, who stood out? Yeah, look, I think you can't go past the, the performances of, of Harry Suter. He was immense at the back there. You know, to think that he had only played one game before going into the World Cup was just uh, incredible and you know he, he was the main guy he, he was desperate at the back he was the real leader at the back for them and you know I think he can progress um, you know to a high level I think English Premier League is, is definitely where is he definite, yeah. yeah I think he can progress into that for sure and I'm sure there'll be scouts looking for him and the other one that really impressed me was Riley McGree I know he plays over in England at the moment in Championship Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough. Yeah. But he was excellent. He started all three games. Um, you know, he played. He played as the as the ten. Uh, he played a little bit wider as well. Um, you know, I thought he's excellent, and he potentially will be on the radar now of maybe lower English Premier League teams as well. But yeah, it's a good shot. Was there anyone that you felt stood out as well? Yeah, look, I've got a couple of players, and uh, and again, we must stress that how well all the Socceroos did. But if we're looking for, you know, players are going to have to be a bit long, younger in their careers because there's quite a few ageing players in the Socceroos. But I picked out first a guy next to Sutar, Kai Rolls, who's playing in Scotland, and Kieran Backus, who played in that last game against Argentina. What a man. Yeah, he was uh, excellent. What a, yeah, what a moment for him. So if I picked out those two that I think can go to, to the EPL as well. And Backus is an interesting one. He's going to be around for quite some time. Uh, Kai Rolls, we know, burst onto the scene in the playoffs, but I think these two players also will be on the radar for, for the bigger clubs in England. And I, and I think the question that everyone will want to know now is, where to for Graham Arnold? Do you think he stays on? I know you're good mates with him. Does, does he stay on uh, with the Socceroos for another campaign or do you think it's time that he steps aside and, and maybe goes to club level um, where I know he has you know passion about that? So where do you think he'll end up? Yeah, look, I think... I think a lot of things have changed in this World Cup. I think he was thinking that, uh, yeah, club land overseas, uh, definitely not, I don't think in the A-League, he's done it with the Mariners and, and Sydney FC, but I think what's happened over there and speaking to him since it's happened, I think he wants to continue on this journey with this group of players. And I can understand that, but it's gonna be very different. Uh, you know, the World Cup success is here and now, but very quickly, it's going to become qualifying for the Asian, Asian Cup, Cup, and that Asian right. Cup is going to be difficult with the success the Asian clubs well, have had. We saw how many, how many of the Asian clubs now, the, the nations of, of Japan, uh, That's South right. Korea, they're, they're, they're powerhouses, so it is going to be a very difficult exactly. for them to, to try and win. And Saudi as well, and Qatar failed at this World Cup, so they'll be looking to bounce back. But look, making the 16 is fantastic. I can't believe I'm going to ask this question, but what can we do and what do we need to do to push further into big tournaments? Not only the World Cup, but the Asian Cup coming up. Yeah, look, I think I think there's a really good base of players, a, a younger generation um, coming through this Socceroos squad. You know, if you look at potential players for the next World Cup, you've got Kai Rolls and Suta, who will be, you know, 28 years old, will be perfect, perfect. age for, for central defenders as well. You've got Karasic, Atkinson, uh, Bacchus, Devlin, McGree, there's Quoll, who's, who's already, you know... And his brothers. Got headlines, his brothers there as well. Tilio, Rusic, these guys are all going to be under 30 years of age. That's it, so, we're going to win the World Cup. So, <laughs> football is coming home to, to Australia, but look, that's pretty exciting to, to see such a, you know, they've gained so much good experience on this campaign, so it's going to be really exciting to see how they progress for this next campaign. 100%. Well, thank you, Socceroos. You've done us all proud on the world's biggest stage. The betting brand for soccer fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly.